like Battlestar Galacta, Galactica, one of the original movies, one of the really long form um, sci-fi films that uh, you know out of late seventies it came out in, and they were, um, and it just took off. And you know the Cylons, uh, Buck, um, sorry, at the same time Buck Rogers was there, uh, Starbuck, as you know, and it was so good, you know, that um, they did a remake of it that was even really really good and it was no holes no punches pulled it was really 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 good and i really appreciated it and uh and i and i binged watch that at buck rogers i think uh, sorry uh, better start i keep thinking about buck rogers but also if you if you if you know if you haven't seen buck rogers check it out it's just such fun twiggy and so on and um yeah and uh farscape sort of like uh, while I'm on that, um, it's a bit like Buck Rogers, where the guy gets lost in time and ends up in a future world or in an alien environment, and uh, you know, and has to bring bring his um, his current day situation to a futuristic environment. So, Firescape is a really good one to do right now if you're thinking about what do I watch as a sci-fi fan or just as a good series to watch right now. Would Buck Rogers just for the nostalgia of it? Um, and Farscape for modern day sort of thing. They came out, I think, in about two thousands, and I really enjoyed it. It was um, uh, one of the um, two of the people that were in it. Uh, I think it's uh, Claudia Black and Ben Ben. I can't remember Ben's last name. Uh, it'll come to me later. He was in uh, Stargate um, Stargate series, and it was really great to see them both of them being in that. It was just. I love them both. They're just great actors, and they're really, really great personalities. And uh, I did did really enjoy um, Farscape because it was made in um, made in over in Australia, filmed over in Australia, and had a lot of Australian actors. So a couple of our own acted in them over there. Uh, by our own, I mean by New Zealand Kiwis. Okay, so Battlestar Galactica, right? So the Galactica, a futuristic aircraft carrier the size of a small city. So that's quite interesting. I remember. Um, I mentioned um, Babylon 5 the other day, and um, the Galactica is a bit like that. And of course, DS9 is a bit like that as well. It's a, sh a whole entire city on a ship, and uh, whereas um, this one moves, right? The Galactica moves, whereas um, both the um, DS9 and also Babylon 5, they don't move. They can be put, um, you know, they can just move slightly, but they can't fly off, you know somewhere else because they're too big to do that and so it becomes a way station and um, diplomatic um, station uh, so yeah so let's get to this the, the galactica a futuristic aircraft carrier the size of a small city careens through a distant star, um, star field followed by a convoy of bizarre space vehicles all fleeing the destruction of the human race led by commander adama lawn green this is the original one um oh man i hate it when i can't remember names but you know who i'm talking about or the new uh in the new series uh coming up adama these survivors have started started on a journey for to the to a 13 uh to a 13 sister colony in a distant galaxy star system a planet called earth uh battlestar galactica follows these interstellar refugees and their battles battles with their enemy the dreaded lizard like Cylons. So this is quite interesting. Like you know, you got the robots, um, you know, we're talking about Cylons, but you get the history of it in this one, which is really cool because this one's got special features. And I was really uh, excited to see this because it's got the real awesome painted um uh cover uh you know back in the day when you used to paint covers. Now it's just photographs of um as you can see some of the back there of the actual images of the film or just uh properly you know, modeled scenes uh, and um, before a green screen or such. And so the extra, um, this is, uh, so it was like um, the guy who worked on the special effects are provided by uh, Jotun Dextra, Dextra, an Academy Award winner for his work on Star Wars. So, the, so you can see that the guy who did the special effects for this also worked on the original Star Wars. And I think if you, like I said, if you, um, it's a Glenn Larson production, so you you guys who are in this, you know, who are um, who are great fans of um, of um, 
of sci-fi already know who Glenn Larson is, so I'd have to go into that. But yeah, it's just a just a really, really good, cool series to sit down and watch when you when you're a bit upset at the current state of affairs in sci-fi right now with Star Trek and with Doctor Who. So going back to the old classics and where people were just like normal. They didn't have any agenda or didn't have any, you know, uh, socialistic uh, views or wanted to do such and such. But they really, it all made it about the story, right? It was all about the story. And so you had re these really, really great, um, great characters and you had a real special connection. And, and that's why it still remains such a big deal. And that's why they, they did a remake um, of it. And, uh, and they're even... That series is just amazing, and I just love the whole idea of just people being people. And uh, they're not fake or anything, that the characters are real, you know, really uh, just normal. And even though they have a huge task to do, uh, they have to go on missions and stuff and try to keep this um, everybody together and have to deal with all the things that are going on and those other ships as well as the big city ship as they escape um, through, you know, they have to start up and run again and you know because the silence are on the tail again they get somewhere and they, again they're there um they follow them there so yeah and I, that's something that i have to think uh, i think um constantly in my head is like when i'm writing in critical i think about well what is she going through right now as a normal person if she was a human you know the real person even though she's fictional what is it that will that would that she'll be thinking right now she's going through these processes that things that are happening to her uh and and that's what I mean about story and being about normal human beings. And how would you behave if something happened to you? That's how the characters would behave on a normal basis, depending on their stationary in life. Like if they're commander, they have to be, uh, you know, they have to take care of a whole lot of people. If they're, uh, if they're like a soldier, they'll just, you know, do they follow orders or they don't? What is What will make them follow orders? What won't make them follow orders? How far will they go with following orders?